Should you wake up one morning and realize that your friend's great plan for the weekend involved a six-hour drive all the way up to this mysterious place called Les Escumets? Worry not, you will survive because this is the official, not official guide of what and where to eat at Les Escumets. First off, as soon as you reach destination, run to the river and pop the champagne to celebrate your arrival. The landscape is breathtaking. Then, make your way to base camp and bring out the good old marshmallows. I like to stuff them with chocolate chips. Lots of chocolate chips. But I wouldn't recommend trying to turn them into shots. The liquor will just run right through the bottom. Although, if you stick a cracker underneath the marshmallow right after taking it out from the fire, I have a feeling you'll be good to go. For brunch, don't overthink it and just head to Le Beige. Portions are oversized and some meals even include tasting of homemade infused vodka. Make sure to pile up the calories because you'll need a good dose of energy to go whale watching. You can go on a cruise or on a government boat if you prefer, but we opted for the rafting boat, which brought us really close to the majestic mammal. It gets really cold, but there's always a delicious clam chowder from the local fish shop to bring you back to life. Now, camping wouldn't be camping without a good hot chocolate. Whatever you couldn't put in the marshmallow, add it here and get jigger with it. While at the fish shop, remember to pick up something for dinner. I'll be fresh and oh so easy to prep. Look, a touch of color, a dash of salt, lots of oil, lots of foil. Forget it on the fire. And ta-da! While you're at it, do try their wealth. Rightly marinated, they are gigantic and extremely juicy. Now, if you have to celebrate someone's birthday, grab the largest cake at Le Beige Pastry Counter. There's enough sugar for you to die twice at every bite, but at least you'll die happy. On your last day, you'll definitely want to stop by Cantine Catherine for the finest of Quebec's gastronomy. You will, without doubt, fight over the poutine with green peas and the Aldress hot dog. Time to pack and pick up some blueberries on your way out. They're tiny, but 10 times sweeter than their watery American cousins. It'll take you 20 minutes to fill a yogurt case and two to eat it all. So despite my initial reluctance, I have to admit that Les Escumets turned out to be quite a lovely and yummy destination. Come with all the prejudice you want, but make sure you come, because you'll be pleasantly surprised and bring on the violence, we'll leave with lots of great memories. On this, thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe! Thank you.